all right so you want to do some small revision for the coming exams you want to do some small revision for the upcoming exams we have this question solve the equation 3 exponent 2x plus 2 minus 10 times 3 exponent x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is on indices so let's quickly see how we go about this so this is the equation given to us and what we are going to do is that we will write this in a form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero that is the standard quadratic equation form so we need to rewrite this by using the laws of indices so you remember that if you have a exponent m plus n is the same as a exponent m times a exponent n so the same thing that is applied over here it was originally in this form before the law of indices was applied to get it in this form that is one of the basis was taken then the exponents were added we need to go a step further over here 3 squared will give us 9 so that gives us this expression for the first term now we know we can still rewrite this term here so that we'll obtain a quadratic equation in 3 exponent x so we apply the laws of indices once again to obtain this so if you have a exponent m exponent n is the same as a exponent m n that is what gave us this term over here now we can see this is a quadratic equation in 3 exponent x so if we should replace this with p if we should replace 3 exponent x with p then we will obtain the quadratic equation 9p squared minus 10p plus 1 is equal to 0 so let's see whether we can factor so when we multiply the 9 by 1 which is a times c get 9 so two factors of 9 that will add up to negative 10 that will be negative 9 and negative 1 so let's do the splitting and we factor to obtain this so we use the zero product principle to obtain this either p minus 1 equals 0 or 9p minus 1 is equal to 0 so that gives us p to be equal to 1 or p equal 1 over 9 by the original equation we need to do back substitution 3 exponent x for p and that will give us these equations 3 exponent x equal 1 and 3 exponent x equal 1 over 9 now note that we can write the right hand side in terms of base 3 since we have base 3 on the left hand side to obtain this and the next thing we are going to do now is to obtain this as purely base 3 on the right so we send the denominator to the numerator we should cause this to become negative so that will give us 3 exponent x equal 3 exponent negative 2 so by comparing the basis they are the same it means the exponents must also be the same so x equals 0 or x equal negative 2 
for this question we have another question here on sequence and series so let's begin by first of all examining the series we have to find the sum of a given series so we know that this is a series with the first term which is a equal negative 8 and the last term is 87 then the common difference is 5 so the last term here is 87 as you can see now in order to find the sum from the first term to the last term we first of all have to know the number of terms that has the, that are there so you know the nth term of this sequence is given by this formula over here so let's plug in the information that we've collected so far to obtain this so this is a linear equation that we can solve for n so we expand then group like terms then we obtain 5n is equal to 100 so we divide both sides by 5 we get n to be 20 so number of terms from the first term to the last term we have 20 terms now the next thing we are going to do is that we will use the formula for sum of terms so we are going to use this type we have another one n over 2 2 a plus n minus 1 d but since we know the first term and the last term and the number of terms we can also use this as simple as that so we substitute the variables n a and l l is the last term first term is negative 8 number of term is 20 and that will give us the sum of the series to be 790 so we have this on vectors given that a equal to i minus 5j and vector b is equal to negative 5i minus 12j then vector c equal mi plus N, nj calculate correct to the nearest degree the angle between a and b that is vector a and vector b so we use the dot products these are the two given vectors and recall that a dot b vector a dot b is equal to the magnitude of the vector a times the magnitude of the vector b times the cosine of the acute angle between them now we just do the substitution here so this is a dot b and the magnitudes we calculate by substituting the component into the distance from line here that is the square of the sum of the component of the vectors so vector a has component 2 and negative 5 vector b has component negative 5 and negative 12 then we have the dots products on the left here of the two vectors so if we dot simply we are just multiplying the corresponding components and adding them so that will give us if you multiply 2 and negative 5 you get negative 10 if you multiply negative 5 and negative 12 we'll get 6 we add them now 
if you simplify this we obtain 13 root 29 is 13 root 29 cos theta so divide divided through by 13 root 29 then simplifying this we get 50 over 13 root 29 is equal to cos theta now this in decimals will give us 0 0.714 and we take the cosine inverse of both sides and that will give us theta equal 44.44 degrees so to the to the nearest degree the angle between the two vectors a and b is 44 degrees now the question continue to state that if a dot c equal b dot c express m in terms of n so let's do that a dot c equal b dot c so we dot both vectors a is these two i minus 5j then we have negative 5i minus 12j dot the c which is m i plus nj so if we can if you like we can write it rewrite this as component vectors so two negative 5 dot m n negative 5 negative 12 dot m n so it's just a matter of multiplying the corresponding components and adding and that will give us this so we group like terms now we get 2 m plus 5 m on the left hand side the negative 12 n plus 5n on the right hand side and we simplify we get 7m equal negative 7n so divided through by 7 we get m equal negative n so m in terms of n is given by this expression more questions will be uploaded to this playlist so don't forget to subscribe so that when I upload the subsequent videos, you'll be able to get notified.